hey guys so if you are aiming to you know play games or if you want to do editing so you might be thinking that which mac i should go with okay so basically uh, i will just going to sh uh, show you with the uh, presentation which configuration uh, you should go with okay so right now i can see that in the mac we have lot many products like macbook air macbook pro imac mac mini mac studio and mac pro so out of this mac which mac you should go with if you want to do you know very high gaming high intensive gaming maybe you want to play even gta 6 it's not yet launched but in coming time gta 6 will also going to launch okay and for editing and all so I'm just talking about a heavy task, okay? The uh, editing you can also do in let's say uh, basic model as well. But now especially we will just uh, go ahead with the gaming. And if we just talk about gaming, so automatically if you are taking uh, gaming uh, as a motive and you are purchasing Mac, so of course you guys can do editing as well, okay? It's all about gaming for now, okay? Um, so basically the very first thing which I will going to suggest you to only go with Macbook Pro, Macbook, uh, sorry Mac Mini, Mac Studio and Mac Pro. Do not uh, go with you know Macbook Air and iMac. Only go with Macbook Pro, Mac Mini, Mac Studio and Mac Pro for gaming needs. Okay and that is what we have uh, told you. In the model try to go with let's say Mac Studio, Mac Pro. Uh, or you know very high-end uh, macbook pro also you can choose and even with the mac mini as well okay um so let's uh, talk about first of all macbook pro so you can see the macbook pro is now coming with the apple silicon m3 chips now available even with the uh, macbook uh, air also you guys can see we have uh, m3 chips uh, here but getting uh, macbook air for your you know gaming uh, that will be a very bad idea okay um, see right now whatever criteria i will going to uh, tell you here like which gpu cpu you have to choose so basically i am just you know uh, giving you with the best experience a solid experience so if you want to do a very high end editing high end gaming so if you want to get a very solid experience so for them i have created this video especially okay uh, for your gaming and uh, editing needs okay so that's why i i will not going to suggest you to go with a macbook air imac okay um okay so let's first talk about macbook pro so here we have a macbook pro and you can just simply click on this spy button and of course uh, if you want to go with a bigger screen you can but you have to make sure that if you want to play the game okay so try to go with the high end okay so m3 pro or m3 max will be the right option for you to go ahead with okay so uh, if you uh, and one more thing uh, if if we just you know talk about let's say uh, m3 pro the last one okay let me just select this so here you guys can see uh, it's providing you know uh, 18 GPU so if you want to buy a computer okay and if you want to play uh, the very high-end game for example a very high-end game is let's say that uh, redemption okay okay so this is the game that will going to take very high graphics and all okay and the second game uh, is of course GTA 6 uh, which will be launched in you know coming time okay GTA 6 is not yet launched but if you want to play let's say Red Redemption so for this particular game you should make sure that you should at least get you know uh, 30 GPU okay for the very high end performance of course you can expect a good performance in you know uh, 18 GPU but the performance will be you know below average okay uh, something like that okay but if you want to go with the uh, very high graphics let's say for the red redemption so i will going to suggest you guys whatever mac you choose go with above 30 gpu okay 
that is very much important and one terabyte is very much important okay and of course you should go with the 32 gb of ram uh, if possible okay that is what we have said so uh, as we have told you in ram if you just talk about ram so minimum 16 gb but 32 gb will going to work amazing and even if you see my mac okay so i have ordered the uh, you can see i have ordered mac studio with m2 max chip okay it has 12 core cpu 38 gpu and 16 core neural engine with 2 terabyte of storage and 64 gb of ram okay uh, and even you can just cross check that my macbook uh, this is my mac studio with apple m2 max chip and 64 gb is the storage okay so basically i have taken this computer by seeing the future proofing that means i want to purchase this machine for uh, you know uh, longer time okay for eight to nine uh, years so what i have done is that i have made a big investment so with that big investment uh, i can you know run this machine for you know longer time and that is what you have to do you have to choose that machine that can give you the maximum to maximum uh, configurations and you have to make sure that it should run for the longer time okay um, but of course budget also matters because no one can purchase these expensive machines but let's not worry at the end of the video we will going to have a good solution for each and everything but in nutshell you are understanding that 32 gb is you know rec uh, you know recommended for you know intensive tasks okay so if you want to uh, play uh, let's say red redemption 2 so it can also play in your 16 gb of ram but the problem is that it will be you know uh, in average okay so the performance will be kind of an average but if you go with the 32 gb of ram you will going to get the best experience and if you just go with the let's say 64 gb of ram so even the games like gta 6 can easily handle uh, with such ram so that's the reason i have just purchased 64 gb of ram okay uh, just now so that uh, i know that in future uh, many games will come like gta and i think that in coming future 32 gb will also um, uh, does not matter too much but for now when we are recording this lecture so you can see we are recording this lecture on 24th of march uh you know uh and uh on 24th march uh 24th of march in 2024 okay so at that time 32 gb of uh, ram is more than sufficient to play any games and 16 is minimum but 32 will going to provide you with the intensive tasks that is what it matters so if you just come to your mac uh you know macbook pro so you can see that uh, it doesn't give you okay so you need to upgrade so you can see right now we are with uh, m3 pro okay so if you want to go with more max so you can just go ahead with uh, apple m3 okay um, it will going to give you you can see here 30 uh, gpu okay so it can give you 30 gpu which is i guess you require 32 but 30 uh, is also uh, uh, basically uh, if you just uh, see about the ram so you can see it's providing you 36 we require you know 32 gb of ram but it's providing with the 36 so that's also uh, enough okay and make sure the gpu should be you know 30 uh, okay to get you know uh, good performance for your uh, gaming that and and rest nothing uh, matters too much so this is what i just wanted to uh, tell you and of course go with at least one terabyte of you know storage to get the most out of your mac and same if you just see with the mac mini okay so if you just go with the buy button so uh, here let's uh, of course uh, m2 normal uh, mac mini will not going to give you the performance you have to go with the mac m2 pro if you select this so here also if you if you just see so you you can see that it's providing you know 20 gpu and 32 gb of ram and one terabyte of storage so uh, mac mini is also not that good and if you will going to notice here in the model we have also not mentioned mac mini uh, you can see only mac studio mac pro and macbook pro is mentioned okay so the reason is also because here you can see you are not getting you know 30 gpu uh, you are just ending with 
19 GPU, you can say approx 20 GPU, okay, so that also uh, doesn't matter, uh, but of course you can play the games like Red Redemption 2 as well, uh, in the average, but not you will going to get the highest performance with this particular model, okay, so if we just go ahead, uh, you can just uh, go ahead and take make Mac Mini as well, it is also a very good computer, you can just go ahead uh, with a uh, Mac, but make sure uh, the GPU should be 30, try to have it th uh, 30 and RAM should be 32 and storage should be 1 terabyte of SSD, uh, SSD okay. Uh, and in Mac mini for now you will going to get that in the Pro chips okay, not in normal uh, M2 or M3 chips okay. So keep that thing in mind. And if you just talk about now with the Mac Studio, so you just see the performance. So it's a beast, okay? It's a very powerful machine. But of course, it's also expensive. No one can uh, afford this type of machine. So that's the uh, problem, okay? So we have M2 Max and M2 Ultra. So basically, uh, M2 Ultra is the combination of two M2 Max chip. So they have just attached the two M2 Max chip together to make the M2 Ultra. Okay, so I guess uh, M2 Max if you can go with, you can and I have also chosen with the M2 Max, okay. So here you guys can see that 30 GB you are getting, so that's the sufficient and 32 GB of RAM, that's the sufficient in the base model, but you have to make sure that you increase the storage to at least 1 terabyte of SSD storage, that is very much important, okay. So according to your budget, see whether you are just falling with this category or not. And this game, uh, sorry, this computer can easily run any high ending uh, video editing as well as your gaming. Okay, so right now Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, is the game that will going to take the highest graphics and all those things. Okay, so for them, uh, this uh, Mac Studio will going to give you uh, the good performance, not excellent. Okay, if you want to get excellent performance, put it to 40 GPU that means 38 GPU that's okay if you want to get the excellent performance okay rest everything is good to go okay and uh, if you uh, want to go with more okay if, if you also want to see the future proofing that means if you want to uh, take that computer that can also help you in coming future okay so you have to go with the 64 GB of RAM because I think nowadays 32 GB you, you will going to notice that in coming three to four years 32 GB RAM uh, will uh, you know not uh, be that much so 64 GB of RAM is good to go and this is the outstanding combination with uh, 40 GPU and 64 uh, uh, GB of RAM and 1 terabyte of storage but in my case I have uh, in, I have purchased same everything but what I have done is that I have just uh, uh, I have taken you know 2 terabyte of storage that's it but uh, if you are going with 1 terabyte of storage, 64 GB of RAM and uh, 40 GPU, so you guys are, you know, good to go. It will just going to provide you with the excellent performance, okay? Whether you are just going with the gaming or editing and even GTA 6 will also going to run very smoothly uh, with your this configuration, okay? With 640 uh, GPU, okay? And 12 core CPU okay and uh, with 64 GB of RAM and 1 terabyte it will just going to run very smooth excellent in very high resolution so that's the no problem but you guys are understanding that what we are trying to say that if we just talk about storage so you can of course take with the uh, 512 uh, of SSD storage but as we have mentioned that 1 terabyte you should go with okay if you just talk about CPU, CPU is pro, uh, you know processor. So basically, what CPU do is that when you open lot many application, so CPU uh, basically allows you to uh, work with the you know multiple apps very smoothly. And GPU, if you just go ahead with uh, you know GPU, so GPU are basically the graphic intensive. Like if, if you want to do gaming, some 3D tasks like you can see we are we use Blender okay so it's basically 3D animation tool so if you want to do this type of uh, very high intensive tasks so for uh, gaming 3D tasks and editing and all at the very high level 
so uh, you know you should get with a more gpu okay and 40 is the gpu uh, which we suggest as you can see that uh, we we always say at least go with the 40 gpu if you want to get the excellent performance but as i know that it all matters upon your budget how much money you have and the last option is the ultimate beast it's a uh, you know mac pro so it's basically even if you take the uh, base model it will just going to provide you with the outstanding uh, performance but it's you know out of the budget because it's kind of a very uh, expensive so basically the people who are in the film industry okay so for them this type of product is very good to go but i will highly going to suggest you guys to at least go with mac mini with m2 pro chip or you can just go with the mac studio if you are going with the mac studio even with the base model but just make sure that you have a one terabyte of storage you guys will going to get uh, you know uh, between good and excellent performance but if the same X Studio uh, with uh, M2 uh, Max chip, if you are getting with you know 40 GPU, okay, and with 64 GB of RAM and one terabyte uh, one terabyte of storage, you will going to get outstanding performance. And if you just talk about Mac Mini, so as we have mentioned, the only problem even with the Pro chip uh, is that uh, basically they don't have you know uh, more GPU, so that's the problem. So it will just going to provide you with a good uh, performance in video editing it will just going to work very smoothly but when it comes to the gaming part so there it will just going to provide you with a good performance not excellent not outstanding only good performance you can expect with this computer so basically this is what i just wanted to tell you if you just even go with the pre uh, presentation okay so let me just read the complete presentation uh, in front of you and hope in this video you will uh, actually go you know some idea that what we are trying to say okay and i know that most of you guys will not be able to afford that big configurations but still if you can go ahead and uh, and do not save for some small money okay just invest at the one time and use this machines for the very longer time okay because apple's products are you know uh, very long term products it will going to work for 12 to 15 years as well okay my old macbook air is working for eight years it's still amazing so the option the thing is that just wait for even if you don't have money wait for a few seconds uh, collect money and after you will going to collect money uh, invest your money in the high configuration machine directly at the one time and it will just going to provide you with that uh, 15 years uh, you know uh, uh, performance okay performance of 15 years and you guys are you know basically good to go with the higher configurations okay so that is what i just uh, wanted to tell you and hope you guys have understood now let's read it one time okay so if you just talk about model just go with the mac studio or mac pro or a high-end macbook pro okay you can also go with the mac mini as well because uh, why we have uh, told you with the macbook pro because here you guys can see it provides you with the 30 gpu so that is also you know uh, with the excellent performance you can expect okay and also it has you know 40 gp option as well so that is what uh, matters okay and if you just talk about the ram so minimum uh, 16 gb okay but 32 gb we highly recommend for gaming and uh, 16 gb will going to handle your you know uh, um, uh, you know low and medium level editing but for the high intensive gaming and editing we recommend at least go with the 32 gb of ram and storage one terabyte of storage cpu the processor which we have talked uh, here so you will going to get the option to select your processor chip okay uh, so for the uh, you know uh, cpu uh, if you just talk about you know uh, if you have an intel based mac so just go with the six core i7 okay or better but right now apple has their own uh, apple silicons so of course it depends on which chip you are uh, you know uh, right now in um, right, right uh, for example right now when i'm recording this so we have uh, you know m2 chips and you know uh, m3 is also now available but 
it's not a matter about a CPU but in CPU what you have to see is all these settings at least go with the 32 uh, uh, GPU to get the excellent uh, performance okay so that is what we uh, it matters a lot okay doesn't matter about the chips which is giving you the good chips M3 M4 that doesn't matter it all matters it about the you know GPU and CPU and all those things okay main is very important is this GPU okay so make sure you just focus more on the GPU because G GPU is the thing you can see uh, if you just see here uh, wait let me just show you guys uh, okay so if you will basically going to see in the uh, chips and processors so if you will going to read so you will going to find GPU matters a lot okay uh, for the intensive tasks and that is what we have told here the integrated GPU in let's say M2 Pro or whatever uh, computer so, but for the more intensive gaming and 3D tasks the more powerful the better okay so that is what we have mentioned more amazing you want to do gaming and tasks so better GPU you take but of course it's also depend on your budget as well okay um, so that is what i just want to tell you okay uh, so basically uh, we have mentioned here choose based on your specific needs and budget but the above spec should provide a solid experience for both uh, gaming and editing okay so the above uh, whatever we have told in this video so basically we have told in the point of view um, of you know intensive gaming you will be uh, basically we want uh, you uh, to get the solid experience okay so if you want to get solid experience with your Mac for your both gaming editing and 3d tasks and uh, many more even with the machine learning and all those things so for very solid experience these are the configurations which we have told in this video you should go ahead with that okay so this is what I just want to tell you and the, uh, now we will basically going to show you I have got this Mac studio and I will also uh, in coming uh, video you will see the unboxing of this Mac studio and how we can connect this Mac studio with the monitor okay so that is what you should uh, no, okay. So the setup which we have also included in this video, so you can just watch it, okay. But hope you guys have understood the uh, idea which Mac you should choose for basically gaming and editing, okay. And guys, uh, one more thing uh, before we uh, complete this particular topic, which Mac to choose, uh, I just want to tell you that please do subscribe to our uh, channel on YouTube, okay. Um, because uh, in uh, our YouTube channel we will just going to show you uh, how to run different games okay high intensive game like Red Redemption GTA 5 and many more games okay on your Mac okay so if you are also interested in all those stuff like gaming and all on your Mac so make sure you just subscribe to our channel it will really going to help us to grow our channel as well as also provide you with the better knowledge about Mac gaming and editing okay hey guys so you guys can see that I have ordered you know Mac studio okay uh, so uh, this is what we will going to unbox now so here you can see that I have you know an uh, unbox from the culture and this is how uh, amazing it is looking okay so you can see it's looking so amazing so guys let's you know uh, unbox the mac studio from here so we just have to uh, tear this down from this side like this okay okay so you can see that we have unboxed it here and this is how it will going to open from here okay so let's unbox it so you just have to you know move it like this and here is your Mac Studio so you guys can see that inside this box we have here the Mac Studio okay so this is how amazing it is looking okay and here you guys can see we have this uh, I guess okay so these are all these things but this is the very important thing that is Mac Studio so you guys can see that I have put it over here and this is how amazing it is looking okay so from here we just have to uh, put it like this okay so great so here we have got our you know very amazing Mac Studio this is how amazing it is looking you can see and this is from the back 
Wow, just amazing. And if you will going to see that inside this box, we have, uh, you know, this power cable. Okay. And rest, we don't have anything uh, here, in, you know, um, inside this box. Okay. Okay. And here is the, you know, manual guide. Okay. About Mac Studio. That's it. We have in our, you know, Mac Studio box. So guys, by the way, you guys can see that this is our power cable, okay, which we just have to uh, insert. That means uh, this corner of your plug will be, you know, inserted uh, back here on your Mac, okay. So now guys, you can see that I have put Mac Studio here and this is how my basic uh, setup is. Trackpad, Magic Mouse, Keyboard, iPad, Mac Studio and this is my old MacBook. So uh, if you just go at the, you know, very back, so you here you guys can see uh, this is the monitor, okay? So it is using HDMI and the power cable. So one we have to attach to, you know, uh, power plug and the second one is this HDMI. You have to put this to your Mac Studio HDMI, okay? So you will going to get this cable from monitor itself, okay? And the second important is this power uh, cable for the Mac Studio. You will going to uh, get with the Mac Studio, okay? So you just have to plug it here and another point you have to plug in your PowerPoint and rest everything uh, this is Wi-Fi LAN okay you can see I have inserted the Wi-Fi LAN and uh, nothing and this is for my you know um, speaker uh, okay so basically two are very important it is HDMI and the power cable which you have to insert and then you can see this is how uh, the setup will going to look like I have a Acer monitor okay and uh, I'm using all these things like magic trackpad mouse all these uh, you know uh, adapters so i will attach all the links uh, in the video description if possible okay uh, for each and everything so you guys can see monitor is started now we just have to start the mac studio from here okay uh, you will see this button uh, this button so you just have to press this button and your mac studio will going to start okay like this and you will going to see uh, all the thing uh, in your monitor, okay? Which press the return key. So you guys can see that uh, this is the monitor, okay? So I will just going to press, you know, enter button uh, to use uh, the English language, okay? <laughs> so after you will going to press the English language, this is how it will going to proceed select your country so basically what you guys can do uh, is that you can see that i am operating it using this uh, you know wired key so you can just choose the language but make sure that your you know uh, magic trackpad should be on okay same yeah, with screen reader called voiceover same, same you with your magic voiceover, mouse press okay f5 now to turn it on and set up your map if you would like to learn how to use voiceover to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Okay, so you guys can just uh, set uh, the country and region. Okay. And uh, uh, by the way, you should also own your uh, keyboard as well, which is also very much important. Okay. So I'm just, you know, using the wired one. So you can see I have just plugged uh, it back and I'm using it. Okay. For now, then we will going to connect the uh, wireless uh, uh, Bluetooth devices later on. Just click on continue. Migration uh, from a Mac time machine. Uh, we can say for now, not now. Uh, you just have to put your, you know, Apple ID and you just have to uh, sign up with your Apple ID. In case if you don't have, just click on create a new Apple ID and put your Gmail, Yahoo email and create your password and then your Apple ID will be con uh, uh, created, okay? But if you already have your Apple ID, just put that over here and just set the password and then you guys are good to go. And af after you will just going to sign up with your Apple ID, you just have to uh you know uh select the terms and agreement and then just click on this agree button okay just wait for a few seconds okay then you just have to you know put the computer password and you can also put the hint 
and then you can just click on continue button and after this uh, it will just going to you know uh, ask you to uh, put all these things okay which we do not require for now you can just click on this continue button okay and you can see that uh, this is the keyboard setup assistant for now we can just quit it okay and you can see this is how it is amazing looking uh, it is total you know mac os tsunami you can just uh, go to you know uh, let's go to about this mac and i have uh, this configuration you can see 64 gb ram m2 max sonama okay which is the very latest mac os version now you can just connect your uh, magic trackpad and magic keyboard from the top you can if you have okay so just go to bluetooth and from here you guys can see uh, your magic trackpad is already connected you can just go to bluetooth settings and uh, I cannot see my magic mouse by the way. Uh, okay, so just go to settings. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just go back. Um, and let me just search for, you know, mouse. Okay, so here I'm getting the mouse uh, stuff. Okay. Uh, but it should you know give in case if it uh, don't give it you can just uh, on and off it again okay so let's see if uh, okay so now you can see that i'm getting the magic mouse option so that i can just click on this connect button and we are good to go now my magic trackpad my magic mouse now it's time to also connect uh, you know uh, keyboard as well so the same procedure on and off and in this way you guys can easily set up your uh, mac mini or mac studio okay